this video, I'm going to show you how to do the magic knot. And the first demonstration is going to be just how to do the magic knot um, in general, just a demonstration of the magic knot, just so that you have an understanding of how it works. And then I'm going to show you a demonstration on how to do a magic knot so that you can get the knot right at the end of a row so that you can have the color change on the very next row. So first I'm going to show you how to do the magic knot with just two strings, two pieces of yarn. And I have two different colors so that you can kind of see how this is working. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot in the blue yarn while around the yellow yarn. Okay, so we are going to tie a knot, but we're not going to tie it with the yellow yarn. We're going to tie a knot in the blue yarn only. So the yellow yarn is running through the center of the blue loop. And we're going to tie a knot. So you see how the yellow yarn is running through the center of the blue loop, and we're going to knot it. Then we're going to do the same thing with the yellow yarn and the blue yarn. So we're going to tie a knot in the yellow yarn and have the blue yarn run through the center of the yellow knot. Okay? So this blue yarn is not attached. And then we're going to, to knot it tight. And then we're going to take the two pieces that are not the ends, that are still attached to the ball, and we're going to pull those knots together and we're going to pull it really tight. And now, those knots will never come out. Now, you can trim these right down, trim these ends right down to the knot, and the knot is not going to come out. I know, it seems kind of crazy, and at first I thought, there's no way I'm ever going to use this knot. I've used it a number of times, and oh my gosh, it doesn't matter how hard you pull it, it doesn't come off. I have no idea how it happened, <laughs> how it does that. It definitely is a magic knot, for sure. So now I'm going to show you how to make that knot at the end. Because you saw how we had to kind of pull those together. So now we're going to use the project that we're currently working on here. And we want to be able to change the color right at the end of the, the row. Now I gotta make sure I have the right, the right yarn that I'm supposed to be tying to. Let me see if I can get my needles out of the way here so we can see what we're doing. So what we're going to do is we need to tie a blue knot around here as close to this end as we can. Okay? We don't want to have to pull this blue knot away from this edge. That's where we're going to start. We want this blue knot right up as close as we can get to the edge of our knitting. Okay? We're going to tie that nice and tight. And then, actually I'm going to trim this yellow yarn a little bit more. Then we're going to tie a knot in the yellow around the blue, not on the blue, just around the blue. And we are going to have to manipulate this knot so that we can get it to go up to where the blue knot is. So we need to kind of push it up there so that it's right next to the blue knot. as close as we can get it. And then, when we pull on the two ends that are not the, um, the short ends, we can just pull them together. Now, this end of yellow is not that big, so we just have to be careful. But, now that knot is right up to our edge, and we can begin the next row of our project. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to do the magic knot and I hope you will try it in some of your projects. Thanks so much for watching. As always, thanks for joining me. 
and I hope you enjoyed the show. Please feel free to contact me with your comments or suggestions as I am always trying to improve the show. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and YouTube as Blooming Knitter. You can also find me on Plurk, Twitter, and Pinterest as Blooming Knitter, but I don't frequent those sites as often. I post show updates on Twitter and Facebook, and sometimes to Google Plus and Plurk. I am Miss Aerobics on MyFitnessPal and Fitbit. You can always find all the old episodes as well as links to the tutorials on the blog at www.knittingblooms.com. And you can also follow the show on Facebook. You can email me at knittingblooms at gmail.com and show notes can be found at knittingblooms.com. <laughs>